today I am hanging out at Disney Springs in the morning. There is some epic music going on, but I like it. Anyways, it's raining outside. There's not much to do, but luckily we have some plans for a little bit later because Disney invited us out to actually try out the NBA experience. So let's go do this. As you could tell, it being 10 a.m. and it's also raining, there's nobody out. It is empty. That's my coffee on the trash can. Oh, look at this. My favorite thing. Well, hello there. You guys are making wonderful Rice Krispie treats. Oh man, look at that. Oh, and candy apples. Those are Yoda apples. I like it. I like it a lot. By the way, I'm with Josh. Hi. He's gonna, he's gonna show me all the cool trick shots. <laughs> Clearly you didn't watch the first video. Oh boy. It's, uh, you know what, it is like really raining. And you know what the worst part about all this is? Is if we're going in on a gym floor, that wet sneaker sound. You know what, hopefully they've got towels or something out to wipe our feet off. Ooh. And here it is, the NBA experience. I'm very excited, as you see, they're still doing things because City Works, which is actually gonna be a poorhouse, is coming soon in 2019. So we made it inside and it is like really coming down now. I'm like very happy that we came in when we did because it is like a tsunami out there. This is exactly what I was talking about though. Wet shoes and this floor do not mix. Oh! The check-in is at 10.30, but I think we could check in a little bit early. Well, because it's raining outside, and we're kind of just like curdling around inside the gift shop area. So let's see what we need to do to actually start playing some ball here. So we can't check in yet, but take a look at these very expensive basketballs. A silver signature Spalding basketball signed by Michael Jordan. $3,000. 3,000 big ones. How about that? An actual Shack Attack shoe right there. $900 signed by the man himself. Look at the size of it. Holy moly. We are all checked in. They gave us this nifty little fan to keep ourselves cool while we're shooting the hoops in there. And I feel like I'm gonna need it. I'm also gonna need a wet towel. So I guess before we head in, we're gonna personalize our experience. And I'm not sure, oh, what's your age? I don't wanna tell people. Oh wait, I guess they'll find out. I'm 33. There, now we know. And I'm definitely a beginner. Advanced, no, Josh. Time to check in and look at this. Look at the basketball pool. Fancy. Look at how fancy it is in here. How you doing, sir? Very cool. There is a lot to take in here. We have films on this side, the combine here, players right here, so like a couple of Hall of Fame players, and then, of course, all of the physical stuff upstairs. I seen a whole bunch of people eyeing this up and playing with it earlier, and I felt the need that I needed to do it too. Oh yeah, it's time for some action. This is kind of nifty though. You get your own little like combine area here. They have like five different ones or oh, four different ones. You get your own section. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, shooting one for five, wingspan 61, and I don't jump. Josh knows how this works, look at this, look at that wingspan. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Josh is just sinking him over here. Look at this! I think he's three for five! 
now the upstairs portion is open. But I have to say, I didn't do a good job. Josh went three for five. I uh, made one shot and uh, I have a zero jump. I have to say, when I first walked up here, I was a little impressed. I mean, look at this, they have NBA 2K up here that you can just go up and play. You know those arcade games where you just shoot the basketball and you get the tickets? Those are all just set up there with free play. Pretty awesome. But the thing that I'm interested in is the dunk area because that's the coolest thing. I'm excited for this because you get to lower the loop. I used to do this all the time back on the street when I had my own. Boom. Do not hang on rim. Don't worry about that. Okay, I know I haven't done much, but this dunk is awesome. Look at, so you can reach it there, and then you control how high you want it, how low you want it. Of course, I went like Michael Scott, and I brought it all the way down. We're gonna call him Josh Duncan. I was just informed that when you touch your ticket, it takes pictures basically at every angle. So that is definitely gonna be a treat to look at those photos. I think we're done dunking. I'm telling you, that was a lot of fun. I actually really had fun. I worked up a sweat even. I was going full 100%. But now we're gonna play some slingshot. Look how nifty this game is. You basically slingshot into the hoops and you're competing against a whole bunch. I didn't get one. I got 23 points. Holy, I won! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, drafty hopper. <laughs> Everybody's lining up to do the shootout. I have to run to the restroom. This is a lot of pressure. Lots of pressure here. Where can I set this up? that was going to be a lot of pressure but it was actually really fun Ooh. we'll just tap it tap one-handed <laughs> we're gonna learn to dribble here really nifty this dribble thing is because it literally like has sensors so it tells you if you're dribbling correctly or not I like it so with that poor dribble performance I think that's gonna do it for me. I had a lot of fun actually doing this here. Time-wise, you get it done pretty quick. If you're a big, big basketball fan, I think this is amazing, and I think that you'll have plenty of time to enjoy it. But overall, I love the dunk. That is my favorite, because you got to lower the hoop up and down, and I put it down low, and I look like a rock star. I think we are done with the NBA experience right now. I'm starting to get a little hungry, so we're gonna head right on over to House of Blues because I've never eaten there, and I don't think Josh is eating there either, so I think it'll be fun to get some food. I mean, we worked hard today at it, doing all those layups and those dunks. Yeah, so you can just go NBA experience, 
House of Blues. Look at that. Look how festive it is out here. I love the House of Blues. Especially like their little like kind of steampunk little people over here. Look at these guys. I like it. Hopefully we're not going to need a reservation. It is lunchtime, so there's a good chance that we can get in. Look at this place. They even got a band happening. We've actually decided to do the Bayou Brunch. And this looks phenomenal. For, I think it's only $35? Yeah, $33. It's basically buffet style and you can get breakfast, a little lunch, and it looked like they have a lot of good stuff on the menu. I'm excited for it. Oh wow, look at this. Rice, we got shrimp and crawfish souffle, seasonal vegetables, mashed potatoes, that gravy looks pretty good too. Scrambled eggs, candied bacon, wow, sausage, biscuits and gravy, chicken and waffles. And they actually have a carving station with prime rib and uh, looks like ham, yeah. Omelets, wow, and of course tacos. Look at that roast beef. Well, there's my first plate. I think I did good. That roast beef, or is it prime rib or roast beef? I don't know. It looks good though. Everything was delicious except for the prime rib. A little bit too rare for me. I do like it red, but not that red. So now I'm gonna head back up to get my next plate because I'm going for two plates today. Croissants and donuts and danishes and muffins. Oh my. Look at all these desserts too. This looks pretty good. Pecan tarts and it looks like we have bread pudding. Wow. That is actually the ceiling. That is awesome. One thing I can say about this place is it has fantastic decor. I love it in here. The artwork on the wall is awesome. Very nifty looking. Ooh, look at that. I want to touch it. I can't touch it though, no touching. The BB Blues Bar is pretty awesome as well. I like all the cool Blues Brothers stuff they got on the wall. Like, look at that picture up there. Rolling Stones, Blues Brothers, that's awesome. The ceiling above the bar is pretty nifty too. Kind of cool, isn't it? Well, I think that does it for me. The Bayou Brunch was pretty delicious. I liked most of the offerings that they had. For $33, that's a pretty good deal. It was a full service buffet. Included your coffees, Cokes, and then you can add like unlimited mimosas to the thing for like 12 bucks. So overall, it was pretty good for the price. And uh, I enjoyed the candy bacon. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.